Just got some, you know, books in the mail today. I try to stay on top of my, on top of the reading as much as possible. But most importantly, I try to always stay on top of the books that I get. Now, you know, there's different myths out there that some say like, yeah, you know, I don't really order a lot of books because the more that I order, it can sometimes steer your mindset a little bit in, in way too different directions. And you should only study a certain amount of few books and, and master that and stuff. And I mean, there's, there's a bunch of things that get thrown out there. I personally believe that um, if you are looking to educate yourself, you should be looking to educate yourself on all aspects, on all levels. Now I'm not saying, hey, you go buy a cooking book or something. I mean, you can if you want, right? But it's up. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 all in what you're looking to learn. So uh, I got a shipment of books today. One of the books is called Mein Kampf. Um, I hope I said that right. But it's actually a book by Adolf Hitler, right? And I got that book because, you know, they say Hitler is much bad that he did. He was also a very great strategist. He was very strategic in things. And I found that very, very interesting. So I was like, you know what? I, I want to get that book. And it's, I mean, it's like a five to 600 page book, guys. Like, it's crazy. Um, and then I got this other book, The Way of the Superior Man, uh, Big Money Energy by Ryan Serhant, and then The Autobiography of a Yogi. Steve Jobs recommended that. So you have to understand, like, I switch my reading up. Sometimes I read biographies um, about people, right? It's, it's a really, like biographies and just regular personal development books, there's a huge difference in the way you comprehend the information. I tend to remember biographies a little bit more than just regular reads, right? You have books that are how-tos. You have books that are strict, strictly on meditation and but the, a common theme with just books in general is they all revolve around a solid theme and that's somebody's story, right? So what I'm trying to, to really just convey in this video is, listen, for one, read books. And then two, mix it up a little bit. Because if you read the same exact, you know, series, same exact genre over and over again, you kind of get accustomed to that. And then you'll hit a plateau where you're just, you know, ah, I, I don't really, I don't really have fun reading these kinds of books anymore. I got to that point where I was strictly reading books on like business and it kept talking about like overcoming your fear, overcoming your fear, overcoming your fear. And it got to the point where I'm like, oh my gosh, like I, I get that already. Like I understand that. Um, and it's great to be reminded of these things, fear. It's great to be reminded of that. And then I got to a point where it was just I'm like, man, I got to switch it up. So then I started reading different books about um, like building your confidence. And I'm just looking up on my bookshelf, the music business, right? Breaking through with advertising, um, 48 Laws of Power, right? I mean, there's so many different sleeping and Listen, I might not necessarily want to talk about sleeping. I'm not here to preach. I'm not a sleep expert, but it would definitely help if I knew these kinds of things because then I can educate people if they're going through it in their life and, and they're stressed a lot. I can ask them, well, how much sleep are you getting? Oh, five hours. Okay. Well, I challenge you if you get seven hours, get two more hours a night. And if that and if that is you just going to sleep two hours earlier, um, do it. And then I guarantee you that's going to help stress because it's proven that you should be getting anywhere from, I mean, they say like seven hours, but six and a half hours of sleep, right? Just like six, I'd say six is the minimum that you should get. And that's cutting it. And I, I've, I've learned that by reading these kinds of books. Same with health. I'm not a health expert, but... I like to know and I like to stay educated on what I need to, to understand, right? I want to be able to talk about this kind of stuff. And if people are like, yo, Nate, how, where are you getting your research? I'm like, oh, I read it in this book. And then, you know, so same, same with if, if I wanted to learn about real estate, I'll read real estate books. Same thing with 
Um, man, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to make a million dollars this year. Okay, read books about making money, right? Literally. So again, I don't want to make this too long. And, and this video is just it's pretty simple for real. Mix up your book selection. Seriously, mix up your book selection. I mean, all the books that I have here, I mean, they range from making money to history to almanacs to social media to marketing to funnels, building confidence. Holy smokes, you name it, to making food, what to eat to prevent having as much mucus, um, semen ret retention. I mean, you name it, literally. I, I, I got these books. The music business, how to, you know, make different kinds of calls, sales scripts, why things are marketed the way that they are. And, and again, it's good to know all these different things because it helps your, your mind. I even got books on my personality type, you know, because I want to find out like, you know, who am I? What's my, my, my personality is an INFJ. Okay. Let me find out about that. I got books on how to speak better, books on how to, you know, if I wanted to take a raft out to an ocean and, and, and go the whole way across an ocean to a whole other country, in a raft, I know how to do that because I got a book on it. I, guess, I mean, I don't think I'm going to do that, but you know what I'm saying? Like, it's good to ha it's good to know these different things for real. Anyways, guys, I um, hope that helps. Um, my challenge for you is mix up your books, mix up the books and buy a book that is, is different compared to what you're used to reading and just allow your mind to grow in so many different ways. You'll have fun doing it. Trust me.